Welcome to WasteWise. This is the JCB56 Wastemaster, and I'm gonna talk you through module one, which is your pre and post shift checks. Your pre-shift checks should always start with your wheels and tyres. You're looking for ample tread, pressure in the tyres and that the nuts are securely fastened. Your next check are pins and linkages. Both front and rear of the machine, you need to ensure that all of your pins are securely in place and that your locking clips and securing bolts are securely fastened. Critical to both your safety and the safety of others is the attachments, making sure that they are securely in place. At the front, the locking pin needs to be in place. At the rear, your quick hitch needs to be securely engaged. Whilst moving around and checking the pins and linkages, you should also take that opportunity to check your hydraulic lines. You're looking for your fittings and fixtures to make sure they are securely fastened and there's no visual signs of leaks. Also check the hydraulic lines to make sure that there are no visual signs of wear as well. On the left-hand side of the machine is a hydraulic fill. On the hydraulic fill, there's also a visual side gauge which you should check every day to make sure there's enough hydraulic fluid in the machine. Also on the left hand side is your AdBlue fill. If ever you're to touch any of these points to fill with fluids, make sure that you're wearing gloves and we'd also advise eye protection as well. The next of your checks are all to do with visibility. Starting with cab glass, making sure that's nice and clean. Moving on to lights, making sure that they are securely fastened and that there's no damage, they are also nice and clean. And then finally mirrors, making sure your mirrors are securely fastened in the correct position and again nice and clean. Now you completed your visual checks, we're on to pre-start maintenance. This is covered by two key areas, the first being greasing. This is a grease point and they are on every pivot point on this machine. To apply the grease you use a grease gun. You attach the, the nozzle to the end of the nipple firmly and compress two to three times to administer enough grease. The second part of your pre-start maintenance are the wear pads. There are four on each rear stabiliser leg and there are two if you have the front shovel fitted with the front stabiliser legs as well. To adjust, you insert the one inch square drive, you rotate clockwise until fully tightened and then back off one quarter turn to make sure that they are correctly adjusted and in the correct position. So that's completion of your external visual checks and also your pre-start maintenance checks. We can now get into the machine. Remember, when getting in and out of the machine, you should always face the machine and you should always have three points of contact. The last of your pre-shift checks are all done by the machine. By turning on the ignition, the machine will check your oil level, your coolant level, and also your fuel level. So if no errors arrive on the dash, you're safe to start. Having completed your shift, you need to return the machine to its designated parking space and stored in its safe position. That means loading shovel on the floor and excavator end tucked in. Accidents happen. If there's any damage to the machine during your shift, don't worry about it, just report it. And then it can be expected, and if required, it can be repaired to its safe working order as well. Leaving the machine, take the key with you, and also remove the isolator key out from inside the front grille. This is the JCB56 Wastemaster, and I'm going to talk you through Module 2, which is your safe operation and material handling. When changing an attachment, place the attachment on the floor, 
be sure to depressurize the system. Isolate the machine, remove the hydraulics, and if required, also uncouple the electrics. To operate the forward quick hitch, press and hold the quick hitch release button and operate your front auxiliaries. When detaching or reattaching an attachment, look for the red indicators on the quick hitch. If these are exposed, it signifies that your quick hitch is uncoupled. To reattach, you just need to operate your front auxiliaries. If there is ever a requirement to change a rear attachment, please refer to your operator's handbook. When using a skip hook attachment, attach the hook to the bin, raise the bin no more than a foot off the floor, and reverse gently. Before raising the machine, make sure you pull the pin out of your red steps. To raise the machine on all four stab legs, first ensure that your forward stab legs are absolutely vertical. Face the excavator. Whilst holding the override switch, operate your proportional auxiliaries and rear excavator levers. Compacting a bin is a three-stage process. At one-third full, you should apply six points of pressure, two at the rear, two at the middle, and two at the front. Repeat this process at two-thirds full, and then also again when the bin is full. This has been the JCB 5CX Wastemaster, and thanks for watching. Always ensure you have been sufficiently trained to operate any specific piece of equipment safely and efficiently within the waste and recycling environment, and that you are competent and confident. You have a full understanding of the operator's handbook and know where it's located. You respect site speed limits and safe working procedures. Ensure all of your colleagues are aware of site safety in the waste environment at all times. You wear correct PPE on site at all times as required by site rules. You conduct your daily checks and be sure to immediately report damage, service and fault warning lights to your fleet or maintenance department. Windows, mirrors and cameras are clear from dirt and debris to maximise visibility. Steps, handles, machine guards and engine bays are clear from debris and free from damage. You use the correct attachments as outlined by your dealer and manufacturer and ensure the machine is the correct machine for the task. Cab doors and windows are closed where possible to minimise dust ingress inside the cab. More importantly, always remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. <laughs>